Hello students we know that water is the precious resource and without it life is not possible on earth but it is getting polluted day by day due to excessive and careless use and so the percent of available drinking water that is potable water is reducing regularly in this episode let's learn about water pollution its causes effects and the ways to control it first of all we should know how water is getting polluted when harmful substances such as sewage toxic chemicals from industries and debris get mixed with water the water becomes polluted so water pollution is defined as addition of any substance to water or changing of water's physical and chemical characteristics and the substances that pollute water are called water pollutants but how can we differentiate pure water from polluted water by definition the pure water is colorless odorless and tasteless normally the water is never pure because it contains some impurities of various kinds which are either dissolved or suspended these includes dissolved gases like hydrogen sulfide carbon dioxide ammonia nitrogen and dissolved minerals like salts of calcium magnesium and sodium also clay silt sand microbes and other organisms whereas polluted water is always turbid that is not very clear unpleasant bad smelling and unfit for drinking bathing washing or other purposes like gardening so what are the causes of water pollution the causes of water pollution are industrial effluents domestic sewage pesticides herbicides and weedicides fertilizers heavy metals like lead mercury arsenic radioactive elements oils silt also presence of harmful bacteria virus and plankton makes water polluted hot water can also be a pollutant this is usually water from power plants and industries it is released into rivers it raises the temperature of the water body adversely affecting the animals and plants in it now let us know the effects of water pollution Water contaminated with sewage may contain bacteria, viruses, fungi and parasites which causes diseases like cholera, typhoid, dysentery and jaundice. So these diseases are known as waterborne diseases. The soil also affected by impure water causing changes in acidity and growth of worms. We have seen ponds which look green from distance because they have a lot of algae growing in them. This is caused by excessive quantities of chemicals which are washed from the fields. These act as the nutrients for algae to flourish. Once these algae die, they serve as food for decomposers like bacteria. A lot of oxygen in the water body gets used up. This results in the decrease in the oxygen level which may kill aquatic organisms. This causes eutrophication and leads to increase in the level of biological oxygen demand that is BOD. Now let us do a case study on river Ganga. Ganga is one of the most famous rivers of India. It sustains most of the northern central and eastern Indian population. Millions of people depend on it for their daily needs and for their livelihood. However, recently a study by the World Wide Fund for Nature found that Ganga is one of the 10 most endangered rivers in the world. The pollution levels have been rising for many years. We have reached this stage because the towns and cities through which the river flows throw large quantities of garbage untreated sewage dead bodies 
and many other harmful things directly into the river in fact the river is dead at many places where pollution levels are so high that aquatic life cannot survive an ambitious plan to save this river ganga called the ganga action plan was launched in 1985 it aimed to reduce the pollution levels of the river however the increasing population and industrialization has already damaged this mighty river beyond repair let us take a specific example to understand this situation the ganga at kanpur in uttar pradesh has one of the most polluted stretches of the river kanpur is one of the most populated towns in uttar pradesh people can be seen bathing washing clothes and defecating in the river they also throw garbage flowers idols of god and goddesses and non biodegradable polythene bags into the river at kanpur the amount of water is comparatively small and flow of the river is very slow in addition kanpur has more than 5000 industries these include fertilizers detergent leather and paint industries these industrial units discharge toxic chemical wastes into the river the objective of this program is to improve quality of water of the river ganga by the year 2020 this approach is to ensure that no untreated waste water enters the river central pollution control board cpcb monitors the quality of water at 57 monitoring stations along the river ganga regularly now let us know how to make water potable there are different methods first method is physical method a popular household filter is candle type filter where water is purified physically let us have a small demonstration here is the beaker containing polluted water i have an empty beaker over here and let me place the funnel over the beaker this paper acts as a filter now let me pour this polluted water into the beaker carefully observe the changes though this water appears clean it contains many microorganisms so it is essential to purify water before drinking Many households use boiling as a method for obtaining safe drinking water. Boiling kills the germs present in the water. The other method is chemical method. Chlorination is a commonly used chemical method for purifying water. It is done by adding specified amount of chlorine tablets or bleaching powder to the water. and there are some steps taken to reduce water pollution industries are supposed to treat the waste produced before discharging it into water water treatment plants should be installed in all industrial areas we can also think of creative ideas like reusing water used for washing and for other household tasks for example Water used for washing vegetables may also be used for watering plants in the garden. Unless we all realize our responsibility and start using environment friendly processes, the very survival of our planet is in danger. So far, we have learned the meaning of water pollution, its causes, effects and the ways to control it. Thank you.